Evan Yeager just finished the steeplechase at USATF Distance Classic and getting back into your rhythm. World's coming up soon. What was the what was the goal and what were you trying to feel today in the race? Uh, the goal today was um, mainly just compete, just work on like racing again, basically. Uh, haven't really been in too many situations where I'm like fighting for the win over the last lap in the last four years, you know, so um, just getting used to racing again, going through the mental and emotional kind of ups and lows of just getting ready for the race, going through the race, so just competing, trying to finish top three, and then obviously wanted to get the standard out of the way, um, but Jerry told me not to look at the clock, not to think about time, um, hopefully with as competitive a field as it was tonight, we were hoping that the race was just going to go that fast, so it's a bummer that we didn't have a pacer, but um, it was still good work uh, running in a pack again. Yeah. Um, I, I haven't been bump, bumped around that much in a race in a long time, so I like I really had in the race I had to work on kind of calming my emotions down, getting back to just calm breathing and um, forgetting about what had happened previously. So yeah, a lot of stuff to work on, but. Um, just want to come out and compete basically yeah it looks like super crazy i saw you over that last that last water pit yeah. you, you, you kind of two-footed it a little I bit did. yeah so like since i've been coming back from my foot injury four years ago like foot has just never felt the same so i've been trying to take take water jumps with my right leg mainly and i was able to do that the whole race except for the last one and of course like it was on my bad foot and i was already I was pretty gassed, so it was it was pretty tough for me to just even get up on top of the barrier. So I I just had nothing to get far enough out into the pit, and just wasn't used to that that landing on my left foot. So um, yeah, something to work on for sure. Um, but I think just more fitness will help, and getting in more steeple efforts will just um, get the body ready for that pounding. Whenever I think about Mount Sack. And you at Mount Sac, I think about your first steeple ever here. Yeah. And yeah. you like shocked the world. Yeah, I mean, before a month ago, I think that was that was the last time that I raced here. So, um, yeah, I mean, definitely good memories racing here. Behind um, and Connor, Roden, it's crazy how. Webb, I mean, and Donahue. I'm a, I feel like I'm like such a better athlete right about 65 like at this point in my career than I was then, but like it just came very easy to me. But I think that just goes to show you like how much consistency for the American like just plays a role in being on top of your game. Four years, of, the last four years have been anything but consistent for me, just up and down with injuries, never really feeling fully healthy basically until this year. Um, so, yeah, I, I just need more of that consistency and just weeks and weeks and weeks of health training to get back to where I was. You're one of the few, like, Bowerman guys. I remember Runner's World did that special on y'all, on you, Ted, Ted and Camp, like, oh, yeah. a while ago. You're yeah. one of the guys that's Alongside been with Jerry since there, Wisconsin. And yeah, and like, only, only one now. That's uh, crazy. I mean, the second longest tenured athlete is Lopez, and he joined... Um, he joined 2010, like January, February 2010. Um, 69 so, seconds yeah, on all, all the old dogs are the gone. Track. Shalane's retired now. She joined that first year. Um, yeah, I mean, the first there's been so much the turnover in the group, but and so many good athletes. And and it is really cool to be a part of like everything so far so i really cherish that for yeah. sure you definitely have left a legacy and we'll continue <laughs> excited to see you in eugene yeah. too yeah yeah you know sure. at world championships yeah fingers crossed yes. yeah that's the goal um hopefully just get a couple more steeple hits uh probably probably one more race at this point since i didn't get the standard but um yeah hopefully like the more work i can get the just more relaxed i'll be running the event again. how much do you feel like you've gained even from when we had the blessing of seeing you back in april like how much more encouraging is yeah. this than uh, uh, yeah, I mean, for sure, like, I, last month was a much easier race, um, 
way slower. It felt more strung out. I wasn't buffing and jostling at anyone. Um, and I, I still felt better with a lap to go here than I did in that race, which, which I, and I realized that in the race, like, I was starting to get tired and I was like, I realized, I was like, oh no, I feel better than I did a month ago. So it's like, you have more left. Um, so yeah, I, I take a lot and um, I mean, I think I'm going to take more from just like being in the pack of runners and seeing how I stacked up to the best U.S. guys, minus Hillary. So, um, and Isaac, Isaac. Was, and now so, later yeah, it was a really good field. Um, I, I'm pleased I was second American instead of like sixth American. So, um, yeah, I, I'll take a lot from this. Yeah. Yeah, Devin, you, you definitely created the beast of the steeplechase in America, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great event. Um, and it's good to see the event rising. Like, the depth of Americans, men and women, is just... I mean, it's, it's light years from what it was when I started. So, um, yeah, it's just great. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, thank you.